Fair Day streets in one neighborhood are closed, and a couple of homes have been red tagged due to the landslides. Let's go to NBC 4's Annette Ariola live in Rancho Palos Verdes. Annette, you spoke with the mayor. What was his message? Well, if you see any shifts in your home, please get out. That is the message that they are sending out to every homeowner out here. This is the Seaview neighborhood of Rancho Palos Verdes. And folks out here, Michelle, are on pins and needles. Let me show you why. You see the home right behind us here. If we can show the rooftop, you can see right there. This roof was at one point flat. It is now sort of caving in. The property has sunk about two to three feet. Now let's go ahead and show you the street, the pay if my photographer can pan down here, you can see that a portion of the street is covered with plastic. This is where crews are working on repairs. They've been filling in multiple cracks. Now, the city's water supplier, which is Cal Water, has also put water main lines above ground because there is a major concern that more land movement could lead to a pipe rupture, and that would be absolutely disastrous for folks out here. This neighborhood is right on the edge of the Portuguese. East Bend landslide complex. It's an area that encompasses several hundred acres and where the ground is basically opening. Some fissures are 30 to 40 feet deep and all the rain has been making the ground shift with the soil crumbling, really. Now, the, the, the mayor says that the land movement wasn't a big concern because the shifting was usually just a few inches. But after the heavy downpours that we've seen over the past year and a half, they are now dealing with several feet of ground movement and a very real danger for everyone who lives here. Take a listen. The center of the landslide complex has always had most of the movement, but because the landslide has seemed to have grown in size, we're, we're on the outer edge now. We've got areas that are have expanded, are moving, and it's a complex landslide, so it's not just one landmass, it's several different landmasses that are moving all in different directions and reactivating each other. So it's a very difficult problem to solve. Yeah, and the mayor says that they are now asking for the state to step in. They are writing a letter uh, de hoping that the governor will declare a state of emergency here for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. They say they need help with their drainage system. You can see behind us here, they have brought in special earth moving equipment to help with those fissures that are right above this hillside here that they've covered with tarps. But again, a very dangerous situation for all of these homeowners who, again, the city officials are telling them if you happen to see see any cracks, any particular movement, any shifts in your property, get out. That is the very latest reporting live this morning from Rancho Palos Verdes. I'm Annette Arriola for NBC4 News.